I was inspired by Zen Pattern Drawing for Wellness as a way to learn to draw, relax, unwind and feel at peace. A simple way to start drawing is just to use your hand. All you need to do for the picture is the materials you'll need is a plain piece of paper, selection of pens, they can be felt tips, fine liners, markers and a pencil. So the first thing to do with a pencil, just lightly draw around the edge of your hand. The reason why I would recommend using a pencil is if you did it straight away with a black felt tip or marker, you tend to get black smudges all around your hand. And at least if you do it with a pencil, it makes it much neater. The next thing to do is to divide the hand into sections. So I will just draw the end of the fingers first. And a simple way would be to just draw a line roughly about halfway up each finger. And then the way you divide the palm is entirely up to you. I just did, first of all, a square, brought it down to the bottom, just went across to the bottom of the thumb and then finished it off at the end. And this just gives you a simple, basic shape that you can start doing your patterns. So let's start by drawing some simple patterns. The first thing that I do, I always suggest, is to just, with a ruler and a pencil, just make squares on a piece of paper. Because I find that easy to follow and, and while I'm testing doing the different patterns. So a very simple one would be just to draw diagonal lines from side to side. I'm just going to continue this into the next one to show how you can then change it into a slightly different pattern way where you can draw individual lines to get a different effect. Of course you can actually draw any pattern that you like. These are just some examples. Another way of drawing. Two lines with a V for me learning to draw patterns was more about holding learning to hold the pen again I can remember at first I used to grip the pen quite hard and it did take time before I could relax my hand and start drawing These are just rows of circles in different sizes. The best way to think about it is to just practice and let your free, free hand flow. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about just getting used to drawing on paper. And for some people, it might be something that you've not done for a long time. But I find it quite relaxing. You 
may be able to see that I've done different drawings in the hand. Each of these are actually on the PDF download with an example of each section, but you don't have to do it exactly the same. You could do whatever, whatever you like and whatever you feel comfortable. I just like to practice on paper. And it gives you an idea of what, what you like. Just making random shapes and lines. also choose to use different thickness pens if you have them available. So that you've got variations of shading, light and dark areas. started doodling. I just kept them just simple. Most of them are just made up as I go along. They don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be uniform. It's more about relaxing and seeing where the pen goes, where your hand wants to draw. And then you can just choose the things that you like a look at. I'll also share some other ideas of patterns so that it gives you something to look at and a practice. Of course you can always use colours. It can be whatever you want it to be. When it comes to designing the hand, first of all, just use your Sharpie pen and go around the edges so that you've got a line to follow. Just fill in the lines so that you've got the sections. And then it's up to you which patterns you choose to do in each one. So now it's your opportunity to give it a go, draw some patterns. And I look forward to meeting you next week when we can have a look at what everyone's created, be able to give feedback and find out how you've gone on. Thank you.